Hello there, students, and hello there, YouTube. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about geomet geometric art, uh, and then we're going to just do a little simple exercise. This goes along with our early lectures about composition. So if you didn't see those, I'll try to stick a card up in the corner up there and uh, and remind you of what we've been talking about. What we're doing, but what we've been doing is been discussing composition and how to organize a space using the elements and principles of art. So uh, we're going to do a little geometric art. Hopefully this will go swimmingly and all my presentation business will link together like it's supposed to. So uh, geometric art uh, can be very cool. And the nice thing for us is, is that for the, our purposes now with the, uh, with the uh, COVIDs going on, uh, this is something that you can do at home and you can make them really, really cool. So uh, here are some examples. They, you know, they look, they're simple black and white geometric art designs. Probably something, uh, you know, t today you'll do something, you know, similar. So I'll just kind of explain that kind of as we go. However, I do want to kind of show you a little bit more of like what you can do with geometric art, uh, you know, and just using simple tools, a pencil, paper, ruler, compass, uh, you know, really there's some amazing, amazing things that you can do with uh, geometry in art. So uh, this, uh, so I've chosen for our example two religious subject matters. Uh, this one, these are stained glass window designs, Gothic designs, architectural renderings. But you could see how the architects in this use geometry as an organizing structure for their composition. So, you know, the one on the left there, that triangular kind of uh, arch shape that looks very sort of delicate and filigreed and leaf-like almost. Uh, you know, you can, if you look down below it, you can see sort of the underlying structure of the, of the geometry. The same thing is happening over there on the right where it has those sort of clover-like shapes and those sort of eye, uh, shapes. So these would be uh, Christian iconography from Gothic times. I forgot to turn off my notifications. And uh, then uh, the next one will be, uh, these are Arabic designs. And Arabic designs are pretty complex and intricate because in the Arabic tradition, they don't draw any figures. There's no people. So all their work is going to be geometry and calligraphy as well. Uh, script. So very cool. So today we're going to do is we're going to uh, try to do a little bit of this geometry and I'm going to pull up, I hope, my Procreate app. Let's see if I can. Oh, it didn't work. Let's try one more time. Dang it. We'll try one more time. This one I'm pretty. Dang. Oh, look at that, man. Oh. So uh, here we go, bam, bam. Uh, now I'm gonna, if I can put that into the screen here, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just get rid of my picture here and then we'll just go from there. You don't need to see me anymore anyway. And, how, why, why, why is this thing not filling up my screen like it's supposed to? That was difficult, more difficult than it needed to be. All right, so we got your square of paper here, your sheet of paper. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing some designs based on just a simple square and a simple circle. So just to kind of let you kind of see what, and by the way, the program that I'm using here is, um, is Procreate, which is a very cool program if you have the ability to do digital. So I'm just going to use this as kind of our example. But, you know, you can do this on pencil and paper. I'm going to kind of freehand it, although I'm going to take advantage of a few of the little features in Procreate. So we're going to start off with just a square. And I'm going to use this grid to kind of get me going here. Let me get, my, get me some color going here. We'll do red and we'll just do a uh, 6B pencil. Sounds wonderful. So, um, dang it. I really need to be better at this. So... I'm going to start off. That's a little thick. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna start off just uh, doing a simple square. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Now one of the nice things that happen is I can uh, hold this and it turns into a straight line. So there we go. Uh, so uh, I got my square here and I'm just gonna do some simple little circle shapes that go with it. So on your paper, you'll, you'll, you can follow along with me and pause if you want to, or you can just, uh, uh, you know, kind of do what you're gonna do. So I'm just gonna draw a simple arc or a circle. And I'm gonna start here on this corner, I'm gonna go to this corner and I'm just gonna go like so. Now for me, I can straighten it up. You certainly don't have to worry about doing that but I can make it go straighter. So I'm gonna do the other way here. I'm gonna go like so. And all I'm doing is just making some simple arcs inside of our circle. And then I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go from this corner to this corner. I'm gonna go boom. And I'm gonna, oops. And I'm gonna flip that around and I'm gonna go. Now, by the way, I'm just freehanding this. Uh, Procreate allows me to straighten up my design, make the line straight, but it's just freehanding. So I've just done a simple little uh, kind of a pattern here. Now from this, so you can start to build and develop and make things happen. So I'm just gonna play around a little bit. And you can, and so, so here, here's the deal. Ultimately what's gonna happen is you are gonna be doing some of these geometric designs yourself. If you would like to pause this, follow on with me, restart it, feel free. Uh, if not, then, you know, you can do your own thing. I'll make the assignment here in just a second. So I'm going to do the same thing again, and I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to, we'll start here and I'm going to go boom. And again, mine will be a little bit, I can, I have the luxury of making it a little ne Oops. Uh, I have the luxury of making it a little neater. Uh, I'm trying to do it upside down. So here we go. much easier. So I'm just doubling these lines. Again, I, I could, if I wanted to use a compass and really uh, make these things, you know, perfect, but that's not what I'm doing. So now I'm just got this little simple design here and I'll take this and I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to go boop, 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 and I'm going to get rid of that one. I'll leave it over this one. Oops. And then I'll take this one, I'll put it uh, um, underneath. So I wanna keep uh, this one and then this one. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing around, weaving these together. And now, you know, you can, there's, there's all sorts of geometric stuff that you can do to, uh, to do this. Um, you can take this and, uh, let me see if I can do it. Whoop. I'll just make this at an angle if I want to, and I can take this and I can now kind of put that on an angle. And now I've got this sort of diamond pattern that I can do. Uh, and you know, so if I want to, I can start coming in here and you know, I'll divide, oops, I'm still on my eraser. Uh, let me change to a different color so you can see what I'm doing. And if I want to, I can start dividing these things. So boom, and then I'm gonna go, Boom, and now, see, so, you know, if you wanna use a, uh, what's it called, a ruler to do this, you know, again, have at it. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, some of the things and what I can do, and, and I'm just, just because I can do them with my Procreate here, just because I can make my line straight, I am. You don't really have to worry about that. You know, but uh, we've got this little shape going on right here, uh, and I'll just, I'll do one more little thing here just to kind of play around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this. Oops, dang, removed a little too much. So what I'm doing is I'm removing this square and now I'm gonna remove the contents of this square. I'm just erasing. And now I'm gonna remove the contents of this square. So I'm keeping some and I'm removing some. And I'm just playing, I'm not doing anything. I don't have any particular thing in mind of what I'm doing. Uh, for these assignments, I'm just playing around. But now you're starting to get these geometries and I'm just gonna, again, I'm just playing. Oops, uh, and I'll start to, I'm gonna divide this one and I'm gonna divide this one. Again, not doing anything other than just playing around with some geometric lines. 
and starting to create stuff like that. So you can see how this becomes pretty cool. There's stuff that you can do. Now, I said I was just gonna use some squares and circles. I kind of got off there a little bit, but uh, uh, oh well. Um, so I'll tell you what let's do. Let's, uh, I think I can delete the whole screen, can I? Mm. And uh, I'll just get that out of here, put it out in the corner. So now let's do another one and let's go, how about this? So I'm gonna do a, uh, and again, so if you want to stop this and pause and build your drawing and do what I just did, that's fine. Or if you wanna play around on your own, feel free to do that too. So how about if I do um, uh, this, if I go bam, 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 bam. All right, that's not really a circle, but um, let me do that again. <laughs> uh, I'm still working. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm learning this digital business the same way that you all are. So I'm just gonna go shook, 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 shook. get my circle there. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing I just did, except for this time, I'm gonna take this square and I'm gonna divide it into fourths. And I can do the exact same thing I just did. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go, how about if we go that way? And I'm just making little arches, exactly the same thing that we just did. And uh, I just happened, so I have this little trick in here that allows me to make the line straight. That's, I'm gonna do that one again. There we go. Okay, so we got this going here. Now, again, I'm just doing the exact same thing I did up in that one uh, when I made, the, but I'm just doing it in small. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm doing the exact same thing I just did to make that previous one. Uh, I'm just doing it in four little sections. So, you know, I just, I did this exact thing. I did that up there, if you remember. I just did the little, you know, that one too, right? So, but now I've got this whole new shape that I've got going here. And I can start to play around with this geometric shape. You know, there's all sorts of stuff I can do in there. Uh, so sure. Yeah. Um, so, and, and again, all I did is the exact same thing. I did that little kind of ovally football shape, uh, that little oval football shape, you know, inside the square, the exact same thing I did up there. And I just did it four times and you know, there we go. So the, we got this shape. And again, you can start to play around with this and you know, what does it look like to, you know, put a circle in the middle of that thing. Uh, and then, you know, there's, uh, there's any number of things that you could do. Ooh, I wonder if I put a circle over here. All right, now I'm just playing. And if I put a circle down here, and again, it just, it just happens that I have the little trick that I can make these uh, into, you know, <laughs> moderately <laughs> close circles. Uh, so, yeah. So, you know, you can play around with that and, you know, burp, burp and whatever. So there's, you're just making geometry in here and you can start to play around with that. So that's lovely. Mm -hmm. So we'll get rid of that. And how about if I do one more and then we'll wrap up. So, uh, and how about if we do this one? So I'm going to use the same process. I'm just going to do an, a square. So I'm going to go, uh, doot, 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 doot. Now I just happen to be, uh, um, using graph paper, man, I apologize. I just happen to be using graph paper, uh, on mine. You don't have to. So I'm just gonna take this little square and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go psh, psh, and I'm just putting a little, uh, another square, a little half square. How about that? A little half square on either on all four sides of this. And again, I'm not measuring anything. I'm not trying to make this, uh, you know, good or anything. All right, so now I'm gonna put another square right beside this one. I'm gonna have two of them that are interlocking. I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, see, but now I've got this little part that's coming in right there. So I'm gonna get 
I'm going to do that, but I'm going to come in now. So I'm coming in. So now I've kind of got this little X-like shape. But now this is going to put me up here to do my next square. So these are going to come out. And then this one, my next square, these will come out. But now this one over here, they're coming in. So, yeah, I'm starting to get a little pattern going here. And then if I want to, I can start to do the other stuff that I wanted to do. I'm going to do that little ovally shape again. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's all sorts of stuff you can do playing around and just making these geometric things. I'll get rid of my eraser and kind of open those up. See how that's working. Mm, look at that. Now I got this star shape. Oh, now, all right. I'm, now I've lost my mind. I'm just playing now. Uh, so I can, you know, I can start to connect these good googly a moogly. Look how fun that is. So there you go. Uh, so here's your assignment. Um, we'll just stick like we did with our last assignment. How about if you do 10? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I said five last time. Five drawings. And each of these drawings should take somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 minutes or so. But if you are an art kid and you really want to get involved and you want to, you know, really delve into one or, you know, or do three of them that are 30 minutes a piece or, you know, whatever, you can kind of play around with that idea. Uh, so I will link the assignment along with these. Um, if you're not one of my students and you just uh, are here to learn about some art and stuff, be sure to hit that like button over there and subscribe too. All right then. Oops, wrong button. So that's all.